months of struggling to find their footing, it looks like the GOP has finally found an effective spokesman. Since Republican leaders unveiled the reanimated corpse of Ronald Reagan at a fundraising event last week, the undead former president has quickly emerged as the new face of the Republican Party. Michael Steele was a good attempt at finding a new kind of face for the party. So was Bobby Jindal. But in the end, they just didn't represent Republican ideals as well as a 100-year-old dead man. Since Reagan was brought back from the grave by GOP leaders in a top-secret $2.2 million reanimation project, poll data shows Reagan with a higher favorability rating than all other high-profile Republicans combined. The voters know Reagan. They trust Reagan. When he moans at them, they're going to listen. Making Reagan's position as party leader official, Michael Steele stepped aside as Republican Republican National Committee chairman this Monday to make way for Reagan's walking corpse. And there's questions as to whether he still has capacity for thought, and he does uh, eat people, but big picture, he's the best option they have right now. Between his six times daily feedings, Reagan has been appearing on talk shows to criticize the Democrats for overspending. You really have um, become quite a phenomenon among the conservative movement on health care. You feel that passionately about a war. And appeared in a series of GOP ads promoting the Republican Party's traditional values. Congress and the president and say they're trying to help fix our country's economy. Ronald Reagan and the Republican Party have the right idea for America's future. Despite his criticism of the Democrats, Reagan seems bent on forging a working relationship with them. And Reagan has already begun creating policy for the GOP. Bobby Jindal and Florida Governor Charlie Crist were among the Republicans who headed off to a remote mountain resort with Reagan yesterday for an all-night strategy session. Today, Jindal returned to Louisiana, praising Reagan. In other news out of Washington, the EPA announced it has lost the endangered species list.